Well, some applications of double integrals, then we generalize the idea to the applications using triple integrals. So suppose you have a lamina or it's just a thin layer. And suppose you have uh, the density of this lamina and it's a continuous function over D. Let rho x comma y be the density of this lamina over region D. Very well, we can use this um, the density and find the mass of this lamina. So the mass of the lamina is equal to the double integral. Remember that you have the density function, which is rho x and y. Remember that this function is continuous, of course. For us to be able to define the double integral, we have a continuous function. And as you learned before, depending on D, if it's a rectangular shape, if it's a um, general shape, um, general region, we can take the integral and define this double integral. You can also treat this as, in physics, as a density charge. So if we have the density charge given by function sigma x and y, then the total charge is defined this way. Q is equal to double integral of density charge, which is a function in two variables, x comma y over region. So here you have your mass and here you have the total charge. For both of them, you're using density function. Let's go over one example. This example says, well, here we have a uh, charge is distributed over triangular region D. So D is the triangular region. And it's given as follow. So this is your D. D is given to you. This is your x, this is your y, and you know that this is a triangular region. Okay, here we go. One and one, one and zero, zero and one. Very well, so as you can see, for region D, which is here, From top, it's bounded by y equals to 1, and from down below, it's bounded by y equals to 1 minus x. Question says, if the charge density is given by function sigma x and y equals to x, y, then find the total charge. Okay, to find the total charge, we know that we have a nice double integral, iterated integral. So we know that Q for the total charge is equal to double integral 
of function, the density function, in this case, here you have charge density, which is x, y, dA. Well, as you can see, your x bounded between zero and one, x is in between zero and one. So let us write it down zero to one. So my other integral is with respect to dx, my inner integral with respect to dy, and my y ranges between one minus x to one. This is equal to zero to one. And if you take this integral, the inner integral with respect to y, you get x times a half times y squared, and your y ranges between one minus x to one dx. This is equal to integral zero to one, so x divided by two, there you have one minus one minus x squared dx. Let's write this in a standard form, simplify this as much as we can. It helps us to calculate the integral easier. So this is equal to zero to one. We can also write a half outside integral, it's just a scalar, it's a constant, so you have x, one minus one minus x squared and plus two x. So we can cancel out one and one and dx. Let me just erase this one. That is my, my two eraser. So I have a half times x negative x squared plus 2x. We can distribute x into parentheses to get x cubed plus 2x squared. Well, I have a half. The integral is negative x to the 4 divided by 4 plus 2x cubed over 3 my x range is between 0 to 1. Again, I'm not worried about the lower bound because both of these have x in them. So if I plug in 1, I get a half, negative a fourth plus 2 thirds, which is equal to a half, 12, negative 3 plus 8, or 5 over 20. This is your total charge. With the same reasoning, if they have a density charge having a function in x, y, z, so suppose your density charge is not just sigma x and y, it depends on x, y, and z, then you can find the total charge by taking the triple integrals. So if The density charge is given as sigma x, y, and z, then the total charge can be defined as, for example, q equals to triple integrals of sigma x, y, and z. D, D over region D, and remember that your sigma is a continuous function. You can expand all of these ideas, all of these definitions into functions with three variables. Next up is the center of the mass. 